You know something, David Boy Smith? When you signed that contract with the Dynamite Kid, you made the biggest mistake of your life. I told you before, I'm more superior of a wrestler than you will ever be in your life. I taught you everything you know, but not everything that the Dynamite Kid knows. When I step in this squirt circle, when the time is right, David Boy Smith, I'll be you from pillar to post, and you are going down. Weasel, what do you think of David Boy Smith? David Boy Smith. You know, this is the match they've all been waiting for. The dogfight of the year, the dogfight of the decade. Dynamite Kid, you've been coming out here, calling me names, abusing me, telling me that I've been riding on your coattails. Well, we're going to see who rides on whose coattails, Dynamite Kid, when we step in the ring together. Dog for the decade, Dynamite Kid. Everybody's been waiting for it. Stampede Wrestling, all the fans out there, and you are going to have to face David Boy Smith, one of the British Bulldogs, right here. <laughs> Taking the offensive on Ron Ritchie, running his head into the turnbuckle. Dynamite. Now drawing several fans of the inside. Re enters the ring. What a stomp to the head of Ron Ritchie. Ron Ritchie on Strange Street right now. Runs his head right into the waiting boot of Johnny Smith. And you know, the audience is standing. They're calling, we want Davy Boy Smith. I wonder what Davy Boy Smith would do in the ring if he was in here. Dying my kid probably beat him up. Well, I don't know. I certainly am uh, not taking anything away from the abilities of Richie and Sumo Hara. And let's but not... Davy Boy Smith, though, certainly will be a handful for either Dynamite Kid or his brother Johnny Smith. Right well, now they're, they're enjoying a momentary advantage. Johnny Smith releasing the Boston Crab he had on Richie. And let's not forget about that great little manager in the corner. He means a lot to the British Bruisers, believe me. Well, I don't really know if uh, his presence is required, if they actually need him uh, as a psychological advantage or not. Sumo Hara is tagged in. The flying mare on Johnny Smith. The front headlock. Wisely Ron Ritchie tagging out, taking a needed breather. The British Bruisers have shown a lot of uh, ferocity and quick tags now that they're mobile as a team. But I think, though, the, the other team got off to a very quick start and caught the British Bruisers off guard. Into the ropes. And Dynamite Kid saw Sumo Hara coming and delivered a vicious kick right to the ribs of Sumo Hara. And that stunned the Oriental martial arts expert and Smith going right after him. You know, uh, Ross, this is what you call teamwork. This is why the British Bruisers are so well known for their brutality. Hey, they stick they together, brutal. they drive their cars together, they go to the hotels like. together. They say they're a team and they work as a team and it's great to see it. Well, a team they are to be reckoned with. A vicious judo slash by Dynamite. Knocks Sumo Hara right down. I really feel sorry for Benoit and Davy Boy Smith when those four would collide. Woo, what a match that would be. You think your dad could do anything about that? Indeed, it would be a contest. Uh, Davy Boy Smith certainly need a reliable and fast partner if he was to face Dynamite and Johnny Smith, and a better one couldn't be found than Chris Benoit. Dynamite going for a back suplex. Oh, dropped Sumo Hara right on the back of his head. And the match totally in control of the Bruisers. And a three count nearly registered by Sumo Hara. And I think he's almost unconscious right now, totally dazed. I don't think he knows where he is. Well, I tell you what, he's taken some tremendous, some tremendous. Uh, and a vertical suplex by Johnny Smith. And did he ever crash that canvas? Ron Ritchie makes the, the illegal save for his partner. I thought Richie should have been disqualified for coming in the well, ring. Well, the British Bruisers have done their share of double teaming in this match. Right into the turnbuckle goes Hara, and these British Bruisers are staying right on top of the opposition now. A quick abdominal stretch applied by Johnny Smith. Sumo Hara in a lot of agony right now. He's got to make the tag to Ron Richie. There's no doubt about it. Well, you know, a lot of people would say, what is this? Well, let me remind you what this is. This is the abdominal stretch, and I tell you, it's put on by one of the best in the business. It's just to wear him down. And Hara banged right into the 
the table by Dynamite. Meanwhile, the referee is occupied with Ron Ritchie inside the ring. And these bruisers, that's what they're doing. They're bruising Sumo Hara all over the ring. They're vicious, they're relentless. And right now, I imagine that was illegal. Johnny Smith just threw Hara over the top rope. Was that over the top it rope? It certainly boss? was over the top rope. I thought it was too No, it myself. was not, and all the fans would certainly agree with me. The referee's attention was diverted by Johnny Smith. A crafty tactic employed by Johnny Smith, taking the referee while the middle white kid throws Hara over the top rope and delivers a few extra blows for good measure. I tell you, if Suma Hara don't get to make a tag in the next minute or so, this match is going to be all over. There's no he can't way... take this punishment much longer. I think he's out of it now. If it weren't for the two saves by Ron Ritchie, this match would have been over. I, I imagine you. Dynamite and Davey were wishing right now this was Chris Benoit or Davey Boy Smith ahead in the ring. And they're staying right on top of Sumo Hara right now. I don't think you're going to find a team tougher than uh, Johnny Smith or and the Dynamite Kid. Even his punches, intense. you know, even his punches don't look good now. He's got to be out of this, Ross, unless he makes a tag. Oh, what a clothesline. I thought he knocked his head right off. Here we go for the pin. This is the third time now Richie has saved Sumo Hara. This match would have been over a long time ago. I wonder where the referee is with the yellow cards. Now this is where a yellow card should come in and we haven't saw one yet. They're del deliberately going to Sumo Hara like a can of sardines. Sumo Hara has got to make the tag to Ron Richie. No doubt about it. Looks like Johnny's setting him up for a power slam all the way across the ring. Oh, did he come down on top? One, two. I don't know how he kicked out from that. Amazing resilience there by Sumo Hara. He's taken a lot of punishment in this match. He's got a lot of fortitude to let me tell you that. Let me tell you why this match is not over, Ross. You're dealing with a guy like Ron Richie and Sumo Hara, and you know Sumo Hara from that wonderful country of Japan. Yep. Before they come over here, they're well trained to take this kind of punishment. And any other buddy but Sumo Hara right now, this match would have been over, Ross. Certainly. He's taken tremendous punishment, and he's just hanging on by a, a thread right now. He's got to make the tag to Ron Richie anxiously waiting in the corner. The crowd has been behind Richie and Sumo Hara 100%. Two and three quarters count there. Sumo Hara just hanging on. What a headwind there by Johnny Smith. I tell you, this match is over now. Well, you spoke too soon there, Bulldog. Ross, how's he doing this? This man's got to be in tremendous shape. Two and seven eighths on that count. Looks like Johnny's setting him up here, right on top of the turnbuckle. Here comes Dynamite. Looks like he's going for a superplex. This could be all over. What a move. Gee. Tremendous suplex right off the top rope. You're looking at 10, 15 feet, Ross. And I'll tell you, this match has stunned Dynamite Kid, and Dynamite Kid's in trouble. Dynamite took that on the back of his head, as well as Sumo Hara. It appears Dynamite is dazed from it. Hara rallies with a forearm smash to the back, right into the corner, and here comes Ron Ritchie. Ron Ritchie's fresh, and he's going right after Dynamite. Catches him with a clothesline. Oh, and the adrenaline's flowing in Ron Ritchie. Throws Johnny Smith right into his partner. And look at Richie go to work. Richie's been doing oh. this for the last three or four months. This is what oh, Richie right signs. The section of Johnny Smith. Ron Richie delivers a suplex. He's got a lot of fire in him. And he's about to suplex dynamite. He shouldn't take his eyes off either opponent here. Goes for a cover and a two count. Very my, close. My, my, what a match that this has been. We'll get it close to the 15-minute mark, right boss. Ron Richie has to of his opponents here. He can't give Dynamite a moment's rest. A scoop slam right off.
off the ropes. Interference there by Johnny Smith. That should warrant a yellow card. No warning is given. Into the ropes goes Dynamite. Oh, and he saw that backdrop attempt coming and delivers a kick right to the chin of Ron Ritchie. I tell you, I saw some tag teams in the last two or three weeks, Ross Hart, but I would have to say this one for action has to go down as the I'm best one yet. Smith. What is going on here? Oh, a double headbutt delivered by both Johnny and Dynamite. The referee didn't see it. It looks like Ron Ritchie is right out cold. And there's the three count. This match is all over. A winning debut for the British Bruisers, Johnny Smith and the Dynamite Kid, looking very impressive as a team. You know, this is one of the matches that I've been looking forward to. We saw four people here today. We saw them come in this ring and give the wrestling fans and the TV view audience a great match. Fortunately, there was a loser, and it was Ron Rich and Sumero, but I thought the British Bruisers no. Dynamite... Whoa, he's David Bushmith. Where is he, Bob? Where is he hiding? I have here with me right now the British Bruisers, the newly formed tag team of the Dynamite Kid and Johnny Smith, accompanied by manager Abu Wizal. Listen to the British Bruisers and listen to them good. David Boy Smith down the road. I know right now, you know right now, this moron and all the morons in this arena know when the date is signed and the, line, the contract is on the line, You've got to face me in the squad circle. Chris Benoit, you stole my wrestling boots from my suitcase. You're a thief, just like your parents are thieves. We are now the British Bruisers. David Boy, the Dynamite Kid, David Boy Smith, one on one is fine with me. Two on two. The Dynamite Kid and Johnny Smith will take David Boy Smith and Chris Benoit. You name it. You put your signature on the paper. It's going down in A Squad Circle. Johnny, tell them what you think. Chris Benoit, where have you been hiding and where have you been running? How long am I going to wait before you get your yellow butt in the ring so I can kick it around? Come on, Benoit. Come and face me. I'm coming for you like a bounty hunter head on, boy. I've had four weeks suspension, but that's to my advantage. So come on, any time, any place, Benoit. Come and get ready, come and get dandy, because the British bruise is ready, and I'm going to cruise and bruise all over you, Benoit. David boy, Chris Benoit, you nothing. Come on.